And we are live. Okay. So, plan for today. Uh, I think I ended up spoiling this in screenshots a couple of days ago. And nobody had any idea what these squares were. They are plots for the new type of villager farms that Omega has come up with. Which is a video that I have up here. So, we're going to be going through this today. Now, I've got it paused at the point where he starts going through the tutorial. And the main thing there is, you died last week. Nice, Eliza. Uh, the main thing there that we have to worry about, because everything else is nice and easy, is the central modules where we have to have our villagers going through. So our first thing, the main thing is, you died last week. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we have to worry about where we're going to store everything. Now, I'm thinking... We output here. That kind of makes sense to me. We've got a storage system here. We can put one here pretty easily. I'm not going to worry about the storage systems today because I only have an hour. But I want to get the hoppers and everything over there. So we're going to go through the beginning of this tutorial once while I gather materials. Do that. Pause the music, which I have to do down here. We're going to start this up, and I'm going to gather the stuff for the hopper streams. So there we're going to put some blocks around. Here on the outside, pull it up too high. Then we need some trapdoors, because you could also use the wooden ones if you're short on iron, but I definitely prefer the iron ones since you can't accidentally open them. In the middle, I also want to place down a carpet. For the villager to stand on. Um, and of course we need the second set of trapdoors on top. And we can already put in the hopper minecarts. We put it all in one go. Put in two hopper minecarts. Just place them on. That's it. So that's fairly simple. I mean it's just like a minute and a half of tutorial. So the uh, the like goal of that whole thing is you end up with um, hopper minecarts that'll pick up all of the items for you. We're actually out of comparators, and I need a couple of them. So I should be able to grab some quartz from in here and do something like this. There we go. However, I'm now out of room in my inventory, so that'll work. And now I want to put the quartz away, and then I want to put... Let's put a stack of the ice away. Okay. I don't want to throw the torch away. Perfect. So, I don't want to have... What's it called? I don't want to have... Anybody know? I don't want to have hoppers everywhere. I want to have water streams. So let's say our input of the water stream here... Which, that's not really going to work, and I can't pick that up. Oh, yeah, there's no longer bound to middle click. Hold on, I need to fix that. So, you guys aren't going to notice too big of a difference. Um, but I have rebound all of my keys on my mouse pad to function keys, rather than numpad keys. But this one is supposed to be my middle click key. Uh, now, the reason for that is... My work has been forcing me to use the numpad, because we have to type in a lot of numbers. But when I come home, all of my mouse pad, or my number pad, is rebound to my mouse pad. So, what the heck is this? This is the uh, software for my mouse. Uh, there we go. So I can rebind all of this stuff. And I need that to be middle click. So now if I've got grass in my inventory somewhere else, I can do that and pick it up. Perfect. Too many buttons. Well, I need them. So don't worry about it. We're going to have to come over to this side and sort it going the other way. Okay. On the pick of those up. We're going to have to come through the wall. And this will be our input. Hopefully. This, uh... This creeper farm's probably gonna... Yeah, that's in the way. Dang it! 
so many things to worry about. Yeah, I do end up using all of those. Like, um, this is me using those keys. So, it is a thing that I use. The issue is, if when they're bound to my numpad, I can't actually make use of the numpad. However, there's this interesting quirk with Windows. Oh, I kind of need those. Um, there are 24 function keys. However, most modern keyboards only use 12 of them. Which means most programs will only use 12 of them. However, most programs will use the numpad keys. So it's better to use the uh, numpad or the function keys than the numpad keys. Okay, what if I go through here? Is there anything wrong with the wall? What about one more? Okay, this seems to be a good option. And here, do I have two down? I do. Okay, looks like this is a good option. And then we can hook up out here. However, this lack of space is really frustrating me. What can I put in here? Let's put a couple of rails and those. Okay. So we need to hook up that middle section and that middle section. So this actually works out really well. We can just kind of meet up here. That'll go this way and this way. Perfect. So you work for me. And... This way. Yeah, uh, all of my master script functions and switching OBS scenes and all of that is done with different modifier keys and the side of my mouse. It's uh, it's an efficient way to work, but I can often forget which keys I need, which can be interesting to say the least. Okay, so we need to have farmland at this level, ice at this level, so we need to go down one more. This is the kind of thing that can really trip me up. Sitting here, I try to figure out at what levels I need to have things. This way, and then we're going out this way for the actual storage system that we'll figure out at a later date. Put the grass there. And then all of these away for the ice. And then we'll have our hopper here. Our dropper, make sure that's a dropper. That is a dropper here. Hello, Skybro! Welcome to the stream! We're going to place the dirt and our packed ice all the way down here. Now, the reason for the packed ice, well, we could make this a little bit more efficient, is it makes the items move faster. So, we end up having it slide under the slabs. I think are what they, where, uh, what they are called. What are you doing? We are building a collection system for what will soon be a villager crop harvesting machine. So we have two modules of the new-ish Il Mango farm set up. New-ish Il Mango crop farm set up. And they will kind of go down these ice paths. Got those. Now I need to go grab regular ice. I don't know why I didn't gather that. Hello. And hello ice. We need you. And slabs. For some reason, I love his interest. I know. His and Prophet of Zods, those songs, just absolutely, they're perfect. So you have probably not heard of Prophet of Zod. So, <laughs> they're just like their ringtones. They're absolutely amazing, and there's nothing better. Water. Flow. And these. That way. Okay, so we need to make sure that we can do this, which we can, awesome. What we needed to make sure was that we weren't gonna have water flowing this way because we've got water that can take it back that way. Weird concept, but you get it when you get it. And then we need to make sure we've got enough space for it to flow into a water stream going this way, awesome. And I don't wanna swim in that, I wanna come this way. And water, and a slab, and a water, and let's cut it off like here. The 
again, we need to make sure we have enough water to go that way. Perfect. Now we can place our grass back above, and we need to get those to actually output. If you're wondering what the massive amount of dispenser sound is, that would be the creeper farm. Which I should probably turn off, to be honest. Okay. Can I actually place these, please? No? Apparently that's not allowed today. When is that ever allowed? There we go. And I back it down. Just... Come on. I know how to place blocks. It's rather easy. You just point and click. Hello! I don't know how to pronounce your name, but not much. How are you? Uh, we need to come down here. And let's see. How do we want to do this? We could do it this way. This is probably the best. So we're going to have two dispensers. Yeah, those are observers. And then one going this way at a higher... No. This one. This one. Uh, if a person can properly place a block, they're a low-key genius. Possibly. Just possibly. And I'm probably doing this wrong. I have this that needs to go here. Yes, this is wrong. Okay, so this here, this here. Then we need to think about the position of the extended piston. So if our piston's going here, then our observer will be here. Foxy X, that's how you say it. Awesome. And then we're going to have this to go here. That means when this is extended, we'll have our piston clock. And then that can go there. We need to go up by one, and we can go there. How is that for properly placing blocks, Eliza? We want to pick up that dirt. And now we can go glowstone. And it got sent out. Awesome. Okay. Now we can do the same thing on this one. I'm going to place it in the same direction just so it's kind of smart-ish. I don't know. Probably doesn't make a huge... Oh, no. We actually can't because we're going to have that water flowing there. We're going to have to place it opposite... Oh, hello, Eliza. We're going to have to place it opposite of the water stream. Good stream. If I had money, I would donate to you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go this away. And we want to do a dirt block. And a redstone comparator. And a little bit down to do our... Sticky piston. And then... This one to here. To go... That way. Perfect. And we want this one to go there. And then up this side. So it'll be here. And then up by one. What are you handing me? Why are you giving me puffer fish? My inventory is full. You can see this. Okay. Here and around. I'm going to fill all of this in. Eliza, if you could move, please. You're about to be buried. Eliza. It's not puffers. It's really tough vodka. I don't think that's how vodka works. Thank you for the creeper face. Okay. And we have those fixed. Now we're going to come back up here. We're going to grab this. We're going to pause the music for a second. And ooh, I think I can do this. And then click play. In the middle. Yes. Awesome. We need the hopper. Then we need around. blocks around. Here on the outside, pull it up too high. Okay. And we need some trapdoors. Trapdoors on the edges. We could also use the wooden ones. If I've we already forgotten this. Iron, but I definitely prefer the iron ones since I can't accidentally open them. And thank you for and the follow, Master Carmack. The carpet for the village and the stand oh, I didn't grab carpet. Oh, that should be easy um, enough. And of course, we need the second set of trapdoors on top. And we can already put in the you make me happy. Okay, oh, fair enough. I think I got that. So 101% vodka in a puffer bottle. Eliza, again, I don't think that's how it works. Okay. Let's go grab those materials. Okay, let's catch up and chat for a second. 
Okay, so the puffer bottle and a follow. Yeah, thank you for the follow. And do that. Where's my fireworks? Let's go grab. I think we only need the carpet, so that'll be this way, but I want to put some stuff away first. And we've got a grass block, a diamond pickaxe, a panda, a uh, rock on, and stop. We can't see you, only the video. Fixed. Thank you. And I don't want the stone. I don't want the smooth stone. Rock on, rock on. You thank you. And thank you for the follow, follow Skybro. So okay. So we have all. <coughs> ah, we have all of the colors of wool. What do we choose? I don't think it matters. We're only going to have them in two spots. Uh, red. Red. Okay. And one, two. Perfect. Works for me. And now we can come over here and we want to grab a stack of stone bricks. Hello, stone bricks. Now, do I have any stone walls? No? Let's make some stone walls. Also, for the new guys, you can request songs with exclamation point song and then the song name. If anybody feels the need to request a song, you can. Now, do I have a stone thingy that I can take with me? I do. Hi, stone cutter. Thank you. Goodbye, dirt. And where are we going? We need to come here and start with this. Perfect. So we need one. No, we need the blocks below first. Let's see how well I can remember this. So this side? No, you are a comparator. All the way around, up by two on each side. Then we've got these, which is in this guy. No, you are a stone break. Perfect. So it'll be out, 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 and out. Then we need that one. Please ignore the cat in the background. Okay, so that's sorted. Then we need you, and this shulker box should be my minecarts. And thank you for the host, Skybro. And up by two. And not breaking that one. We want to break this one. Should be able to do one. Two. Break it. There we go. That looks awesome. Well, now we can take this and go do the same thing to the other one. Let's make sure that that's actually what he did with those minecarts. Let's open minecarts. Let's place them on rails. Break the blocks and let them drop down. Okay. Nope, that's not what he did. Need carrots? Nope, I have the carrots. That and this. Perfect. That's why I wanted to make sure that's what he did. And now we get to do the same deal here. So we're going to break these. You're going in the wrong direction. That needs fixed. Is it a public server? Yes. Capecraft. There we go. Oh, I've broken it. So mix it up out of this awesome feature to where I don't actually have to butcher my own commands. I can just press a button and it runs the command and it's beautiful. Um, because before I would have to sit here and type out the command myself and it was horrible because I'm horrible at typing things out. Okay, so now we need these one, two and those perfect. And up, and that, down, this one, and this one. We can break these. Perfect. We did it. So now we can take those. And now, hello, Skybro. You have joined the server. Now we need to go around and place walls. Because we want to make sure the villagers that we move into here are not going to leave. Now, we have... Okay, yep, we're good there. Let's say we have a dilemma here. 
I think they're able to leave, and luckily they are not. Cannot get through these. So we're going to go around and replace each of these with a singular wall. Shouldn't allow zombies in. However, we do still have the issue of lightning. The eternal problem with dealing with villagers. Because lightning will take your villager and turn it into a witch. That can then despawn. And w even once it's a witch, you have no option of recovering it. Uh, like if it's a zombie, you can turn the uh, villager back into, or the villager zombie back into a villager with all of its traits. That's not the case when it's a witch. It's just a witch forever now, which is quite annoying. And there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm probably going to cover this whole thing in glass, which is disappointing because it looks cool. I like this. Particularly once we get the crops into it. But it is what it is. Like, there's not much we can do about it. I don't want these to go and destroy themselves while I'm AFKing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to do that. Particularly these guys in the middle, because they're going to be a pain to get in there. Um, we're going to have to get them to position up against the edges and never leave. And all of that fun stuff. And the reason I brought that stone cutter with me is because I knew two stacks of walls wouldn't be enough. Because I marked these out myself. And yeah, uh, I'm already out. So let's do that. We're going to grab our stone cutter. Hello. Make two more stacks of walls. And so we've apparently picked up two stacks of bricks in that period of time. And that. Perfect. So... I don't think I've discussed this yet on stream. Um, I've been having a bit of burnout over the past couple of days for, oh, more like a couple of weeks, but not because of Minecraft, because my job has had me go to full time. And I'd warned them prior to me picking up this job that I was not ready to go full time. And that's for a number of reasons that I'm not really wanting to get into. Uh, I guess the main reason is I have this that I'm dealing with, as well as all of the stuff between the two servers I manage. And I'm not really wanting to give those up. Um, a lot of people would say, hey, it's a job, and they're willing to pay you a ridiculous amount of money to go full-time. But I still want to be able to do my hobbies. So, luckily, they listened to the fact that I'm completely burning myself out trying to do all of this. And they didn't reduce my hours, but they changed them to where I have more time in the morning. So not this week, but next week, I should be able to do more than an hour worth of stream in the morning. Um, I'm just going to end up working a little bit later, and instead of having two days off, I have one. Hey, I'm back. What's up? Not much. We got those done, and we're doing the walls now. And then we're going to go through and till all of the land and move the edge villagers in. Uh, there is one issue with that. We're going to have to tear up our... What's it called? What's it called? Villager Trading Hall. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's going to need to be torn up. But yeah, like, I should be able to do longer streams in the morning. I'm going to have more morning time. And, um, because I won't have to go until afternoon. Whereas, like, I'm having to go in at 9 this morning. So... That's going to be fun. I need more grass to fix this area. So let's go grab some firework rockets. Because that's been my main issue so far. Like, I have to leave at 9. But I'm not getting home until 9. And it's been interesting, to say the least. Um, so what they ended up doing is I'm working like 12 to 7.30 now. What are you building? I forgot. I am building a villager harvesting area. Down, and we need grass. One, two. And uh, back it down this way. We need to get to that section over here. Perfect. See, what can kind of throw me off about managing um, block placement is sometimes I'll think, oh yeah, my body's blocking that. Yes, you get more time to stream. Can't wait to watch your streams. Awesome. Um, 
I'll think that my body's blocking it, and it's not. So then everything will just fail, and it's sad. Um, because then it's like, oh yeah, I have all of this space, and it's beautiful, and then I end up placing it, and I didn't want to do that. Tools. Thank you. I knew I had another diamond toe. I'm fearing that I'm going to run out of space here. So, grab the ice. And there are a couple of spots here where we're going to need slabs. Or, you know what? Let's grab stairs. Uh, because stairs will make it easier to walk over. The reason I say that is in a couple of spots we have water that are flowing underneath, like here. We need to go one, two, three, four, five, and then we go on this one. And I need a bucket. So let's dump this lava somewhere. Thank you. Bucket can go here. And ice can go here. Perfect. So one, two, three, four. No, something's wrong. Oh, it's supposed to include that. Dang it. Okay, we need to fix this. Uh, what does MOV51 mean? So the MOV is my initials, and I made it when I was eight. So the 51 is area 51. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, I've had that for 12 years. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and we go here. And I've just honestly never changed. I haven't seen much need to, and it's as personal as it gets without giving away my name. One, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And just go water. Good name. Thank you. And uh, let's just go stairs everywhere. And there's my ex explanation. Uh, he's the 51st mob clone. And that's kind of accurate, considering I also have 52, 53, and 54 as Minecraft accounts. So it does work. Um, and that's kind of the creepy part. And star. See, I did go through and mark these out, but since we have, um, since we had to mine those up, I had to recount. I did think ahead, I promise. And there's that one, and over here. And it's going to bother me that some of these are rotated wrong, so let's fix that. And I don't know why I keep placing my stair first. Walter, stair. Perfect. Man, has it already been half an hour? Man, time flies. And this one. Perfect. So how's everybody doing today? We have... Where's my stream? Okay, here it is. We have eight people today. How are we doing? Pretty sure I'm sick. I feel that. Jim's doing okay. Does not have a mixer account, sadly. Oh no, I didn't want to pick that up. This way, and the breaking. Perfect. Okay, come on. Get up here and around. Perfect. Well, I can definitely agree with feeling like you're sick, Eliza. Like, I keep waking up with stomach aches and going to bed with fevers, so I know how you feel. I didn't want to hoe that. That was a waste of durability. My day is very good, thank you. Awesome. You know, it's all about your mood sometimes, but there are things that can definitely take that down. Okay, so those are sorted. Now we need to get over to these. And pick up a wall and grab the ice back. Perfect. Break this and go there. And no, I need ice first. There we go. Then we have to count out five. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to place our stair first here. Break the ice. Grab a bucket. And you know, I think I can actually do that before the ice breaks. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. So if I go here, place the ice, grab the bucket. There we go. I don't have to break my torches now. One, two, three, four, five. Break that. Place an oak stair. Place the ice. Grab the bucket. 
Got it. Pro skills. And there we go. Got it in the right order. And the other side. Do that, 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 and that. If I had a zombie villager, but I make him a villager, and he's selling efficiency 5, if you want to come. I have an efficiency 5 villager already. I'm good. Thank you for the offer. And this way, and around. And two more to go, I think. That one and that one. Oh, geez. We have mobs spawning like crazy. Me need to go you grab Jeffermy. Thank you for the follow, Unicorn Caitlin. So happy to have you. Happy. Come on. Get up on the trapdoor. So, ice. Oak stair. If you guys are wondering why I keep closing my eyes, uh, my head keeps tilting for some stupid reason. So, it's making my glasses mess up against the screen. And it's awkward. <laughs> I think my screen is tilted. Um, yeah. Not only that, but I've got these four monitors around me, and it's making it hard to focus on the one game. So, I need to sort that out somehow. Hi, Creeper. Please go away. I don't want to deal with you. And this one to this one. Minecraft is the best game. Depends on what you're looking for. Uh, best game as far as something you can just get on and play. Agreed. Uh, best game for PvP? Mm, debatable. Uh, you know, that entirely has to do with what style, style you're looking for. I am very, like, against saying, oh, this is the best anything. Okay, now we can go through and do this. And hopefully we should get serious dedication today. Thank you for the, f ah, the host, Sans the Artist. Can I play with you? Yes, this is a public server. There you go. Honestly, I've spent over 10 plus hours oh, on this game. 10 oh. hours? That's ridiculous. Oh, Thank you for the follow, Sans the Artist. Happy to have you. I don't think any game is the best. I just like them or don't like them. And sometimes I get tired of them. No, I meant 10,000. <laughs> I know what you meant. I just thought that was funny. 10 hours? Yeah, I know. Uh, which do you prefer, Xbox or PS4? The only version I've played of those two is Xbox. And honestly, the only reason I liked it is because I was able to play with my best friend at the time. Um, that was really the only reason I played the Xbox version. I felt it was so limiting. Um, so, ah, oh, I swapped... <laughs> I need to turn that off. Uh, XC, tweak, toggles, durability, no, cool, false. Thank you. I want to break this. I don't want it to go away. I play on Xbox. Sadness. Thank you for the follow, Toxic so Range. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Yay! Serious dedication. Awesome. Did that on stream. That works for me. Uh, I've been playing for 24.350 hours. Let's see what my playtime currently is. 25,000, 25,000, 2,507.82. Yeah, by the way, I can't read decimals. So if I ever manage to mess that up, don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, 2,500 hours. How do I join? Uh, sadly, this is a Java server. Uh, you cannot join on Xbox. It kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Nothing we can really do about it. Yes, someone knows how to say my name. Awesome. I forgot how I said it, but I'm glad I said it right. Okay. It's good, it's good to see that this is actually a good time to get people to watch. Because, uh, yeah, I generally have an issue with that. Well, I have Java, Java on my bad PC. Mm, fair enough. Okay, all the way around. Got two of these plots done. I think we're just going to get one set up today. Because I want to make sure we get something completely accomplished. We've only got like half an hour left. So I want to get this done. Okay. Trying to think. Should I try and jump over this creeper? Or should I just let him explode? He's not going to break any blocks. Okay, here we go. Die. Please. Thank you. 
So yeah, creeper explosions are disabled here. So we don't have to worry about that. My main thing was, I didn't want him to break my minecarts. So I didn't want to have to replace those. So yeah, we managed to get that. I've been playing with Xbox for some few years. Yeah, Xbox is nice. My main thing about consoles is it's nice to see that there's a dedicated platform that you can design for. My main problem with consoles is nobody takes advantage of it. And it's good to see that they're actually working on that. You have 11 people watching. Well done. Yes, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, like, you don't see as many people taking advantage of it as you did in the early days, where they were completely custom platforms. Now they're just, like, overly hyped computers. So... It's good to see that they're getting a little bit more back into that, though, which is good to see. Do you play Fortnite 2? I used to. I very quickly got bored of it. Uh, I play more Overwatch now on streams. In fact, there was an Overwatch stream coming up on Saturday. Uh, I do have that scheduled. Uh, Fortnite has never really been something I've gotten into. Tried it. Didn't really like it. Uh, kind of quickly died for me tried it before it became like a really like annoying thing i used to play but i stopped playing in 2018 yeah yeah about the same i am not really sure on the timeline to be honest everything kind of blurs together after a while okay we're done with this in like 20 strokes and then we've got to put our what are they called composters glass and glowstone in so we've got glowstone, glass, and composters. So we've got this composter with a glowstone on top, this glowstone with a glass on top, this glowstone with a glass on top, this glowstone with a glass on top. I shortly played it with my brother in 2018, but I stopped after I just got bored. Yeah, like, this is my thing about games, and it was kind of what I was wanting to uh, touch on a moment ago. Like, everybody has their own niche that they really enjoy. I enjoy creative games that allow you to find your own way to play. Um, and fast-paced games where you can get something done really, really fast. And there's a lot for you to have to do. Uh, one of my main things with Fortnite was that you'd get lured into this, like, really low sense of security. Where, like, you're just walking around and then you get headshot. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you, you spend all of this time collecting stuff and then just the stupidest mistake leads to you dying and it's generally not even something you can change is kind of the main thing for me um it's just it happens and they don't do any sort of oh you're gonna rank up with these people it's just like everybody in one thing so i'm not the best at pvp but I do play Overwatch, and, like, I can do pretty well at it, but I'm not, like, high-ranked. Like, I can learn from my mistakes and kind of change. Um, so, yeah. It's... I like the dynamic of it. Um, and I enjoy it. But I never really liked Battle Royale. It was just kind of boring. Uh, don't lie, you've kicked my butt every time we've fought. Okay, I don't count Minecraft as PvP. That That's just my thing. Like, the thing about Minecraft is, it's so slow-paced compared to, like, actual PvP games. Um, Minecraft has so few parameters that you can actually change. Because everything is tracked on such a large scale. You cannot actually, like, fight in the same way that you could fight in Overwatch or Fortnite. There's no finesse to it. It's just, hey, I've got this arrow, let me fling it in your direction and hope that the server is actually synced up and it hits you. That's really what Minecraft you ends up coming down to. Uh, thank you for the follow, Ice so Wraith, and my headset is dying. Happy. Just a moment. And I'm now tethered to my computer. Awesome. You'll Hold on. Make me happy and thank you for the follow, Katakins. So happy to have you. Happy. And you're going to watch Maleficent. Awesome. That's a good movie. 
haven't watched it entirely myself. I tend to fall asleep during movies. You so, and thank you for the follow, Epsher so Spieler. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not sure. Okay, we need to move these guys. We should have some up here who don't have a profession. So one, two, three. We've got three. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue because they need to not have a profession. Hmm. Now, these are farmers. We could steal them, and he doesn't have a profession. So that's valid. Okay. Let's go grab the things we need for these and put away the things we don't. Uh, let's see. We need to put the ice away. You'll One, two. Thank you for the follow, Night Turtle. Happy to have you. Happy. Uh, we got the privilege of watching Mob without a headset. Yes. Doesn't happen very often. I do plan on getting, like, a proper mic, but it's a little ways off. Uh, let's get the wood put away. Uh, nope, stairs go in here too, and hoppers can go away in this one. I really like your design build. Thank you. Oh, we need the composters to go in here. I did not need that many. The comparators can go in here. And along with these and that. Nope, we need those. And redstone blocks we have. Okay, what do we want to place this on? Let's go with stone bricks. These, and then we want... Stone is up here. Okay, we're running short on stone, but we've got more in that direction if we need to grab more. And... Where is it? Where is it? I've lost it. There it is. <laughs> it blends in with the walls. Ignore me. Uh, this one can go here. And here. And here. Beautiful. Okay. Where are my minecart rails? There they are. I knew I'd grab some. I like Minecraft, but I'm not a very good builder. But here's the thing about that. Um, one, it comes with practice. And two, um, like, it's completely up to you what makes a good build or not. So if you like the way something looks, then you're a good builder. That's really what it comes up to be. Okay. We need to get these guys out of here. So I need an axe. One, two, three, four. Those will be our guys on the edge. Looks good. So we need to tear the floor up. Oh, death. Um, go here and here. Okay. And one, two, three. And four. Perfect. I will fix this after stream. I'm not worried about fixing it now. Uh, good builds are like art. Depends on the person and what they like. Take that from Minnie. She built our spawn. Yes. Please. Listen to Minnie. <laughs> that is like the best person you could listen to on that. She built our spawn almost single-handedly. Almost. She had a lot of help from Six. But yeah, like, that's definitely her thing. <laughs> okay, there's that. And we need to come out this way. And I think we're going to have to go up that way, because there's not enough room to stare. So, one, two, and then up. Careful not to fall off, but I'm not used to having jump boost. Yeah, she is a master builder. But I want you guys to recognize what she said. Like, a lot of it comes down to your own vision. If you're able to get your vision out, then you're a master builder. That's the main thing. Like, that's how it comes down to it with a lot of art. You have to be able to get what you see out. And that part of it comes down to practice. Um, being able to work with your medium and getting that to be visible. And we probably didn't need to go that far over, but I'm not worried about it. Um, and you know, that's something I'm struggling with lately. Like I can see what I want to draw or what I want to model. And it takes hours to get it done, but I'll eventually get it out. And the more I work, the faster I get at it and the more clear it becomes. And that's how it works with any art. You're not going to be able to sit down and immediately draw your vision. Even I think I'm a bad builder sometimes. It's hard to make what I can see in my head sometimes. 
Right. Like, that's kind of how it is. Sometimes it takes a lot of effort to get what you want out. And it can make you feel really, really broken about it. Um, and, like, these walls, it took me months or weeks, weeks, to figure out exactly how I wanted it. And you can see I still haven't even finished them. They're just kind of sitting there, half done. Very flexible, I'm almost like a contortionist. One, that's not how you spell it. And two, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it takes a lot of time, practice, and effort to get the level of skill that allows you to get what you need out. Um, being a master at something just means you practiced at it. Being a good artist just means you can see what you're wanting in it. Okay. Now here, it gets kind of awkward. We need to pill her down. Let's line up, and then what we'll do is we, are, we will pill her upwards from there. So we'll go out by a little bit. Not enough that we will lock that, but enough that we can figure out where we need to go. Okay, so we'll start here. We'll block this guy off. We're going to need to put one guy in there. I'm actually a speed builder, not a master. Eh, fair enough. Okay, and then we'll start pillaring up. Hopefully we should line up over there. And uh, on my way back up, I'm going to grab Jeff Aramie, which is my crossbow. Because I don't want to have to deal with all those mobs, and we need to get a torch in there. I don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, let's come up. Uh, one more, I think. Kind of terrified that I'm not going to line up properly. Come on, please be right. I don't want to mess this up. And perfect. Okay. So now we're going to run rails all the way down. We're not going to need to come back up this. So I am not worried about running powered rails on this. I don't know how to spiel it because I'm in year five and my age is between seven and eleven. Well, I think every seven-year-old is a contortionist, to be honest. You know, you don't really lose your flexibility until you're like 14. So keep at it. Um, like, if you keep at it, you won't lose it. But... You know, if you're younger than 14, you're generally pretty flexible. That's kind of how it is. And this way. Perfect. Like, if you think about it, like, babies are born with a couple of hundred bones, and then by the time we die, I think we only have, like, a hundred and a half. So, half term... Uh, what do you mean half term? Kind of confused by that many. Uh, let's fix these. Inhale! Babies don't have kneecaps. What is this? Oh, what are you doing there? You're not allowed to be up there. Uh, yeah. Kind of like that many. Um, like... Your bones don't... Oh, this is broken. Um, you don't have the same number of bones all the way through your life. And they fuse over time, which is why you lose flexibility as you get older. And one of the reasons why you'll end up with a lot of pain as you grow older. How do you make babies? Well, judging by the face, I know you're ask I know that you know you're asking a pretty awkward question. Well, I'm not going to bother answering it. I would suggest asking your parents, seeing what they're willing to tell you. F3 and B, we're going to break you and do that, and we're going to break you and do that. You call this talk and it will deliver a baby after nine months. Yes, that'll work. Do that. Okay. Minecart. Go. You are now strapped. Be happy. Uh, I actually need to get these up. We need to have powered rails going up from here. So, I think it's like every two. So it'll be here next. And then it'll be here. 
Oh no, I broke the stone brick. That's not allowed. Then it'll be here and here. One, two, to here. Okay. We'll do, okay. This haste is really bothering me. Here. Then to here. Big cannon from Pluto. Space babies. Eh, that sounds good. Here. Okay, this, stop it, haste. This isn't allowed. They grow like potatoes. Um, does anybody remember that um, Rugrats episode? Uh, where, uh, hmm. There was some play on words with uh, one of the, like, one of their baby brothers. That was the thing. But I don't remember the baby brother's name. But it was something to do with a plant. And the baby brother ended up, like, growing from the plant. If that makes any messed up sense. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, like that. That's where babies come from. I don't know. Uh, that kind of broke down faster than I hoped it would. Anyway, I've only got 10 minutes left, so let's see how fast we can get this done. Am I the only one who thinks that kids are like three to four or old all sound alike? No, I don't believe so. They do have their differences, but you'll only get that once you actually know them. And that's kind of one of the issues. They haven't developed a lot of their vo vocal strength yet. So, yeah, they do have differences, but it's generally in what they've learned to say rather than their actual voice. Kind of an interesting thing. And this way. Okay, don't fall off. Let's see how many of these villagers we can get over there. And come on, place in the right spots. Oh, these are going to be nice and easy. I won't have to waste one. And one, two. Okay, let's take you first. Go. Hey, we got the placement right. I'm supposed to be cleaning. Down's going to kill me. Oh, well. He can do that if he pleases. <laughs> okay, let's grab a golden carrot. And chase this villager, but I will need fireworks. And perfect. Hey, villager, go! Okay, so we want to block this off. Break you. Now choose a location. There you go. That's your spot. Now we need to block anybody from going that way. I think that works. We'll find out. I got a puppy and a pet kitten. Awesome. Okay, next villager. Let's go. We're running out of time. Please, can I grab this minecart? Go. You jerk. Why are you not getting in this? Thank you. Where are my fireworks? There we go. I think we could have uh, placed these powered rails a little bit further apart. Yeah, definitely. Come on, buddy. And choose a location. Now we need to stop them from going this way. Do I still have glass on me? I do. Awesome. Okay. Fireworks, please. Minecart, please. See, this is why preparation is an awesome thing. 
I like how they have a choice. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. You're next. You have a good taste in music. Thank you. And yep, slaver with class. That is what it is. Hey, buddy. Come on, come on. I hate how slow minecarts are, but this is much faster than having to bring them across with a boat. Okay, you get to choose between the last two ones. The last guy doesn't get a choice because of you. Okay, you get this way. I mean, that's honestly easier than having to force them to choose one, I feel. Because otherwise I'd just be pushing them around while they're in the minecart. And then we need you. You are the last one. You don't get a choice. Why do some of these not like to be moved? Come on, there's a minecart in you. Go. And then we need to take that guy next. Come on. Let's see. Oh, Tenacious D mini. Is that really it? Nice. And let's see if we can... Nope, we're not going to keep up at all. Uh, let's fall down here then. Hello. And now choose wisely. <laughs> Come on. You know which way you have to go. Go down there. I'm going to have to push you off a cliff. Go. See, that's what you get. You didn't choose. <laughs> you didn't choose. That's what I have to do. Like, what else do you expect? We even get out of here. There we go. Okay. Now let's go grab this last guy. We'll need those. And we're going to break you. And we want this one to go around. Hello. You are mine now. Perfect. And minecart. Come on, get in the minecart. Now go that way. You awesome. Happy, Thank you for the follow, Splint Turnip. So Splint. Happy. Split turnip. A splint turnip. Okay. Let's follow the villager. And thank happy, you for the follow, follow. Bunny Pro. Happy to so have you. Very happy. Hello, villager. Oh, no, we need to block off this last section. Hurry up. I don't know why I managed to forget that. Hello. Let's do that. Trying to make this as easy as possible. Okay. And we got it. Okay. The fact that he picked up one of these composters has me a bit worried. Split turnip, yes. Okay, now we get to go give them stacks of carrots. And they should start planting for us. So let's go grab those carrots. Uh, let's grab some fireworks first. And I've got carrots on my third floor. In this chest. So one... Two, three, four. One day, I'll go to Mixer and just stream me running through all of Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Hello, Sublime Rabbit. Hey guys, you want some carrots? Take your carrots and plant them. Here he goes. Maybe. He's trying. 
Come on. It's a very short game. Nice. Okay, he's thinking. I need to get to these other guys, though. Okay, so he's here. Plant your carrots. I really hope he's just not giving them to that guy. I don't know what his plan is. Okay, let's come down here. And you'll need some carrots now. I, and this needs fixed. And you need carrots. You make me Thank you for the follow, Sublime follow. Rabbit. So uh, please don't happy. advertise your own channels here. That's a little bit scummy. Jump and fly. Thank you. Hopefully we should see these guys... Not giving food to the hungry villager and instead planting. I don't know what he's actually doing. Yeah, they're they're just throwing the food away. Guys, plant, you morons. <laughs> We're gonna have to plant for them. Okay. Thank you for taking care of that mini. And hello, Sublime Rabbit. Okay, yeah, these guys are stupid. They're just, like, throwing the food away. Yeah, that's basically all the food I just gave them. Uh, let's go plant it for them. I mean, if we just give them a couple, they should start planting. Uh, what's up, J1 Dexter? Uh, lights break, you. Oh, no! We can't place it again. No, please. I don't want these guys to leave. Okay. Let's just kind of do this. I'll plant one stack in each section. They fixed mobile moderation. Nice. Definitely a nice. Okay, there's one. We're going to break you. I'm not going to worry about placing them all next to each other. Each of these can fit more than one stack. Okay, and this section. Get bones. Uh, I think I'm good. I do have a uh, skeleton spawner that I could use, but I've got to end it right after I'm done with this anyway. So, still got to get ready for work in an hour. Sadly. Okay, so... On that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I still have a cape template on. I do have something to leave you guys with, though. I have a blog post coming out now. It should already be posted. So there is that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Will you be online tonight? Um, in, like, 13 hours. That'll be after I'm done with work. So, yeah. Got quite a long shift today. So... I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Depends on how early I can wake up. Have a nice night, and I'll see you then.